Hi there, signs of Libra. This is Kim here to do your reading. <clears throat> Excuse me. I hope you all are doing really well. This is uh, the Modern Witch Tarot deck. And I get some messages for you. <clears throat> so I provide a channel here for your spirit guides, your angels to give you messages. It's for your highest good. Take things you resonate and just leave the stuff that doesn't. And always know that you can transmute energy. You can change whatever energy you're sitting in or find yourself in. <clears throat> Sorry about the trucks. They're kind of loud. All right, so these are, um, because the messages are channeled, it is intuitive. The way that it comes to me is just sometimes doesn't even make sense to me, but it's supposed to make sense to you. So <clears throat> the queen of cups is your issue. So is there a change in diet? Is there exercising being upped? Is, um, is your intuition growing? Um, the Queen of Cups energy could be about um, receiving, like, a, you know, receiving, like, information, channel information, or just possibly even being able to see signs or symbols from your relatives. Because the Queen of Cups can do this. Also, the Queen of Cups energy, <clears throat> besides being intuitive, is just very caring very loving, caring, in touch with her emotions, and knows that, <clears throat> and knows <laughs> that um, you can go to that person to talk. She'll listen to you, or he. It doesn't matter um, which one. That's just the energy. I know people have said that a lot, but all right. So, eight of pentacles. The uh, wow. Wow. Okay. Well, so listen, it's a time for making some new goals. Um, for sure. The star is in reverse. <clears throat> so we're moving past some kind of disappointment. There was something it feels like that happened here where there are the options were just so many. Where the options were so many that it's like not knowing what to choose in a sense. So seven, seven, the seven of swords in the reverse in the past energy is a change of tactic. It might have to do with your options and what you're deciding to pick for yourself. The Queen of Wands is in the reverse, and uh, the Knight of Wands is in the reverse as the challenge. With the Three of Swords as the heart of the matter. So, th this is a situation where we have a necessary need to be brave, bold, and truly inspiring to yourself like that's very important that you live up to all the things that you can do because there are so many things that people can do so many talents um the three of swords energy here is the heart of the matter <clears throat> this is um go going through some time that felt hard and whether or not this is, um, you know, what's interesting, you know, what's interesting about this is there's two knives right here going straight into the heart and it lets go of this, some kind of energy where it, it's dark, <clears throat> it's dark and it's not, it doesn't feel good. But then the sword that, that maybe tried to interfere or the sword that you feel like was that last straw, it almost looks like it didn't even pierce. It just looks like it got kind of dirtied by the last feelings you had during a breakup or a heartache or something like that. Because the Knight of Wands is in the reverse, I feel like there might be an issue moving forward. Um, or, or even just gaining, like being able to have some movement could be about wanting to travel too, um, or wanting to go 
after what it is that you're passionate about, even whether at work or relationship, it all is going to boil down to putting yourself out there and um, being brave, bold, and daring, and knowing that things with trust in the divine are worth taking a risk on. All right, so then you have, other than taking really good care of yourself, you're feeling like the magician. That's awesome. That is such a good feeling. To feel like a magician is knowing that you, <clears throat> as human, have this ability, just as all humans do, to take the symbols around you and have wise discernment because it can... The spirit realm can be very confusing, and so so can signs. So wise discernment is really necessary with the magician card. I don't always get that with this, but since I feel like since your power is actualized, you know what you can manifest. You don't need anybody else to um, confirm that for you because you've already done it. <clears throat> and that's being enlightened by uh, your own creativity and your own ability to create. And I love her hair. Oh my goodness, that's adorable. So the magician energy, knowing what you can do, we'll clarify these um, too. The queen of pentacles is in the environment here. So the queen of pentacles being in this environment um, is all about the domestic, domestic things possible. Possibly, um, since nowadays, you know, a lot of people can work from home, then I could kind of see this as being domestic and um, a home business and kind of like running the whole show. You know what I mean? Um, fertile can do it herself if she wants to um, without help. But once again, that is the energy of receiving. So it's the divine feminine. I feel like this is um, getting ready to receive more pentacles. Especially with the Eight of Pentacle energy up there. As your hope. So, you're, this is great. You know what you've been through. You know that you've got to be brave. That you have to take some sort of risk. You know that it's up to your decisions. And that some of these choices are not necessarily completely clear. But you also know what magic you hold. And you know the power of your thoughts to direct your life. Um... In the future, I have the energy of you being able to hand, handle everything all by yourself. All by yourself. Now, it's not to say that you wouldn't accept um, assistance or uh, guidance here, you know, because your spirit team is always wanting to guide you. But remember what I said with the discernment, because, I mean, you don't want to just connect to everything out there. So... <clears throat> Yeah, so 3-3. Three, three. Some spirits might be into joking. That's why I say you got to watch out. You have to watch out. You have to watch out for your discernment and the way that you interpret things. Um, and watch what you're thinking about. Usually I find what you're thinking about is um, what you're attracting to you spirit-wise. Um, so the Eight of Pentacles putting in the work to make it happen. Putting in the work to make whatever it happen is for you. Um, she's designing her own pinnacle there, if you see that. So she's like, well, if everything's going to be shut down or if I don't know where to, what to do, and then I'm going to create it. Like, if I can't find a job, I'll create a job. And that is a beautiful thing. And, and that is something that really anybody can do, especially with um, assistance, uh, if you need it. But having that discernment to know when you need assistance, when you don't, and always knowing that ultimately you still can do everything yourself if needed. So the star energy reversed with the sun is, it, man, so the sun is almost like the best deck. And what's interesting about it is when you see the stars, it's because the sun has gone in. So I think that that's what this is saying, is that the stars here um, are in a reverse because you're having to decide, hey, what do I want my dreams to be? Do I want them changed? And you know that the sun is out right now, meaning you might not see the stars, but they are still there. Your hopes, your dreams are still there, and that rewarding win is still there. 
The sun brings new things into our life. The sun brings divine um, guidance. Ooh, wow, wow. Creating from a heartbreaking situation where it felt like losing faith or trust in something, okay? Feeling like losing faith or trust in something. And the Six of Wands here with the Magician is ultimately your victory. Ultimately a victory. Um, this is a victory seen by others. It is witnessing that you had your magic. You're inspiring others to know that they can do it too. So don't fall short for yourself when it comes to the Queen of Wands being the issue here. That is all about being kind of timid or shy or something. And, and definitely the magician is saying here, um, yeah, step out, right? Step out. Step out and um, sit on your high horse because you uh, deserve it. Because you deserve it. All right. Now we're going to go into the Queen of Pentacles energy. Queen of Pentacles energy. King of Wands energy with the Queen of Pentacles is, <clears throat> that is like divine inspiration of how to, so one person knows how to build very well, um, has been through things and, and knows uh, from many things that might be labeled as failures, but are not. They're just steps towards your success. Uh, with the Queen of Pentacles, it might be about um, domestic success and building uh, what it is that you're wanting. I feel like that might be in business. I mean, but ultimately, it's like in your environment, you have the energy of the king. You know how to build it. You know how to bring in the money. And the Queen of Wands energy in the reverse has to do with that being the element that you need. Because we have, we have everything. We also have in the environment a good team of two minds able to choose together this. And it doesn't have to necessarily just be two. But the energies are supporting uh, input towards your seven of cups. Towards what you want to choose, right? <clears throat> okay. The star energy. Oh, nice. Okay, see, like I said, the stars are still there. It's just that the sun's shining, and so you might not see them. But the eight of wands here is good news and something really, like, moving you forward. Um, communication, light being shown on how to move your dreams um, along, how to move those along the way. Wow, this is really nice, guys. This is really, really nice. I like this. Okay, what's the Three of Pentacles energy in the reverse? I'll just go ahead and clarify that. The Eight of... Look at this. The Eight, Eight. Eight of Pentacles with the Eight of Pentacles. My gosh. It has to do with when you're taking good care of yourself, you're loving yourself, you're taking the things that you have learned that with wise discernment, you know, are the good things to do, like uh, eating and how you receive love. You understand that the effort that you put in, you know, it, it seems to have that correlation um, with the more effort than, oh my goodness. I would expect a lot of money coming in for you all. And that is not a clickbait thing. That it, wow, yeah, because you have changed transformation with the death card, meaning that there was a closing of one cycle, and it's time for the 888 cycle to come in, and then, um, yeah, to me, 888 is talking about one achievement after the other, after the other, prosperity after the other, after the other, and this is building wealth, and accumulating, um, it's the ability to tap into your spiritual side here too and actually insert it in your work 
that's what I feel with it with the eight of wands too. like I said this is um it involves a lot of movement but the more movement the light is shining on how much your uh, pentacles can be benefited by that all right how do we deal with the Queen of Wands? Because I am i haven't touched on this, but I'm thinking that it's going to be necessary to uh, let go of these swords so that the ones that maybe just look really bad because uh, they're there with these swords, but they're not actually piercing the heart. So feeling how we can let go of that stuff and have a beginner's mind with it when it comes to our heart and our experiences. Because you could be pleasantly surprised. All right, the Queen of Wands energy. How do we help that? Oh, wow. <laughs> the challenge is realizing that, one, you have all the happiness inside you. You can find all the happiness no matter what situation that you're in. Um, you, if you can't find complete happiness, you can find the peace that comes with the stillness. And um, that, too, is a good thing. Tens is about completion, guys. And this is a completion on a really happy level. You have a fairy tale. You have 888. You have wealth and riches coming. You also have this happiness that you've found within yourself that is enabling you to create the fairy tale that you've always dreamed of. Know that your stars are real. They're still there. You just can't see them because the sun is out. And that is a beautiful reading. Oh, my goodness. Love it. Ooh, with the nine of cups here on the bottom. So careful what we wish for. Oh, my goodness. This was an absolutely beautiful reading. Um, wow. Wow. I think we're going to leave these out for you. Let's pull some oracle cards now and see what we get. <clears throat> Okay, so I guess the first deck, first deck we could probably use is the um, the Shaman's Dream. And here's your eight, 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 eight. I love that. You might be seeing more of the number eight, eight, eight today in particular, or um, you don't have to see it to know that that energy is coming, but I think that you'll feel it for sure. <clears throat> Shaman's dream. Give us messages, please. For the sign of Libra. All right, spirit angels, give us messages here for Libra with the wise discernment to figure out the message for them. Give me guidance. Give me guidance. There you go. Um, so when it came to matters of the heart, uh, the guidance was first breath, beginner's mind. Number 21, it has to do with um, looking at things, like I said about the uh, three of swords. It has to do with letting go of all of the pains because sometimes things feel more painful just because of comparing them to something from the past. Um, so meaning that you couldn't change that. You can have a big effect on that. <clears throat> Whew, okay. Okay, also I have number nine, and this car is showing somebody who is dancing around, feeling like they're just doing everything, too. Um, associated with nine, though, so I got to say that this um, wealth situation is going to come into fruition, or the situation with achievements, just a big achievement. So, dances on one foot, dances on one foot. You also might be into ballet. Um, whale song, for those of you that are musically inclined, 
And those of you who aren't, actually, it's resonating with those, um, the beautiful sounds and things like that, that uh, you can feel, which I think it's metaphorically talking about the frequencies that you can feel around you. You can tell when you can resonate with somebody and when you can't. It's not based on the things that you either know of, about whatever that person, it's usually based on and immediately that first impression to me is about the energy that's being received for that per from that person. Um, and that's how I see it. Of course, some of you, some, most people don't all feel things exactly the same way or see things exactly the same way. So that's where that wise discernment comes in to let you know, okay, what do you resonate? If you, if you can get along with like a group of people, um, that you maybe normally couldn't get along with, then there you go. You found out how to resonate. You've also found out how to use wise discernment. Okay, I have deep, quiet meditation and stillness. That will help you find the peace within when your life just gets so, so busy. Because this right here is busy and it will take a lot of time. Okay, repairing the veil. 45. 45. 12, Dragon's Horde, Protecting the Future, and Stars in the Sky, Limitless Possibilities. You have 21, 61, 51, 9, 12, 11, and 45, Preparing the Veil, Forgiveness. Uh, Spirit of the River, I have Movement Towards Adventure, um, and Moving Past a Stalemate. I feel like Moving Past a Stalemate here. Okay. Let's go ahead. Let's just get um, some cards on top of these. Let's. I'm going to pull from this deck. This is the Angel Numbers uh, deck. I got it off of Etsy. Eighteen. I am kind-hearted. You are both open-minded and open-hearted. Your ambition is to leave this world better than you found it. Ensure that your goals are aligned with the collective need and the highest good of all. Um, I am kind-hearted. And I have 6-6. Six, six, your guardian angel is teaching you the essence of unconditional love. And you are encouraged to have faith that the universe will provide for you while you're manifesting your desires. Oh my goodness. And then you have another 8-8. Eight, eight. You are wealthy. It says you're on the cusp of a prosperous, abundant spiritual life. You're going to find numerous opportunities for success and achievement, all of which will bring financial and material. A material abundance into your life. So this success and achievement is going to bring all of those things. 22, you have three master numbers. And 118, eights all over the board. 22, I'm, in I'm aligned. You're in possession of incredible creative powers. And it is assured that you can achieve anything you wish. Okay. And we'll probably end this with the in the shadows or cards from did I get this from Etsy I either got it from Etsy or um, Amazon Ooh. okay here's um, I hope you're happy and I know we have a soul connection let's do a couple more for you yes it is too late but it's it, the way that it's coming out, it's like, it, that's not talking about you. That's you talking to somebody else that maybe, or you saying it's too late for those things that you don't resonate with. And I love myself enough to walk away. will get you aligned with the direction that your soul is wanting you to go in. And I don't trust you on the bottom. Might have to do with this in a relationship possibility. The stars in the sky, remember what? What I said, your stars are always out there, but when the sun is shining, I mean, there's going to be even more opportunity um, than just little pinpoints of light, a lot of light. All right, so sending you love and light. Thanks for joining me. Bye, Libras.